Sir Jim Ratcliffe considering move for AC Milan legend Paolo Maldini as next Manchester United sporting director. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is considering a move for AC Milan legend Paolo Maldini as the British billionaire weighs up who to appoint as Manchester United's sporting director. Ratcliffe's 25% investment in the club is set to be ratified in the next 10 days. Richard Arnold, the club's current CEO, will step down before the end of the year and Ratcliffe is expected to appoint a replacement. But Ratcliffe won't stop there. With the 71-year-old in control of football operations, he wants to appoint a sporting director to oversee the club's recruitment. United have spent £400 million under Eric Ten Hag and Ratcliffe is unhappy with the quality of the squad. Maldini helped Milan to become Serie A champions for the first time in a decade in 2021, and he was instrumental in the Italians' move away from older players and to a fresh, young squad. Fikeo Tamori, the former Chelsea defender, was a key signing of Maldini's but the Italian left the club last summer after a falling out with the owner. Maldini would be open to a move to Old Trafford but the Telegraph say he's one of a number of names under consideration. Dougie Friedman, the Crystal Palace sporting director, is said to be a leading contender and has the backing of Sir Alex Ferguson. Atlanta's Lee Congerton and Atletico Madrid's Andrea Berta are also said to be on the shortlist. While the January transfer window may come too soon for the new sporting director, Ratcliffe will want them in place and settled in before next summer. Jean-Claude Blanc, the former CEO of Paris Saint-Germain and Juventus, is the front-runner to replace Arnold as United's CEO. The Frenchman currently serves as a sports director at INEOS, Ratcliffe's biochemicals company. Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants showdown talks between Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United star Jadon Sancho. Sir Jim Ratcliffe will prioritize repairing the relationship between Jadon Sancho and Eric Ten Hag when his investment at Manchester United is confirmed. The British billionaire is set to pay around £1.4 billion for a 25% stake in the club, in a move that will give him control of football operations. While a deal could be announced this week, it will take another six to eight weeks to go through. Until the point of completion, Ratcliffe will be unable to take up a position at the club but he's keen to get to work straight away. Sancho hasn't played for the club since being left out of United's trip to Arsenal in early September, when Ten Hag said he overlooked the winger due to his performances in training. Sancho took umbrage with those comments, claiming he was being made a scapegoat. Though the winger has since removed his post on social media, he is yet to apologize to Ten Hag and has been training alone away from the first team ever since. The winger, a £72 million signing from Dortmund in 2021, has failed to live up to expectations since joining the club but he's one of the best paid players in the division on around £270,000 a week. United would struggle to recoup that cash as there is a shortage of suitors for Sancho, and few clubs in Europe could afford his wages. The Daily Star therefore say Ratcliffe will look to mend the relationship between Ten Hag and Sancho. While that may not result in Sancho reviving his career at United, Ratcliffe at least wants to protect the midfielder's value. Juventus have shown interest in Sancho but could only afford a loan move, while they would also expect United to cover most of his wages. Alex Ferguson to play role in Jim Ratcliffe's Manchester United overhaul. Sir Jim Ratcliffe will lean on Sir Alex Ferguson for advice as he begins to formulate plans for his Manchester United overhaul. The British billionaire is set to buy a 25% stake in the Premier League giants and has already pledged £250 million to help begin upgrading United's crumbling infrastructure. Ratcliffe, according to The Telegraph, is also hoping to oversee a drastic rebuild of United's football operation which is currently lagging behind their domestic rivals. To that end, the process began on Wednesday with the news that long-serving chief executive Richard Arnold is to step down with Jean-Claude Blanc, a leading figure at Ineo Sport, in the frame to be appointed. Ratcliffe is also keen to employ a new director of football with John Murdoch's position said to be hanging in the balance following a succession of high-profile transfer errors. 
With Radcliffe keen to take guidance and advice from Ferguson, 81, Dougie Friedman's chances of landing the role are likely to be enchanced. The former Scotland international is currently impressing in a similar role at Crystal Palace with Ferguson understood to have been impressed with the way in which he has assembled a young squad built around the talents Ebereki Ease, Mark Gahey, and Michael Ollis. Aside from Atlanta's Lee Congerton, former AC Milan pair Paolo Maldini and Ricky Massara, as well as Atletico Madrid's Andrea Berta, are under consideration. While Radcliffe's impending arrival is seen as cause for optimism amongst the majority of United supporters, club legend Paul Scholes has questioned how much impact he will have while he owns just a quarter of the club. Asked what Ratcliffe needs to do when he takes over the reins, Scholes told Webby and O'Neill, while everyone talks about recruitment and recruitment is very difficult. It's a difficult thing to get right, every signing you make is a risk. It's clear that we've signed good players, but a lot of them don't seem to ever work. So I think that will be the first thing he does. They're talking about a director of football as well, or a sporting director whatever you want to call it, with some experience, that will be something he will want to get in place straight away. I just find it difficult to believe that he's going to be left to his own devices, only owning 25% of the football club. How are the Glazers not going to want to say at the top table when it comes to football decisions? Obviously you can draw up contracts, of course you can, but if stuff is then happening that they don't like, you're telling me they're not going to come to the table and have something to say about it? I'm sure they will. I just find it bizarre. It's obviously a stepping stone to him, Ratcliffe, taking over the club permanently, but how long that is going to be we don't know. And how much time has he got to try and get things right?